about 2.8 billion miles from the sun, Neptune gets very little heat from our star. So it's frigid on the outside, but it's still a furnace on the inside. And just like on Earth, temperature disparity creates weather. Very unpleasant weather. There's actually a giant storm on Neptune called the Great Dark Spot. It's a big storm about the size of the Earth, and it's persisted for many years. The winds amazingly get up to 1,100 miles an hour. The temperature of its cloud tops is about minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. That low temperature means there's very little friction and very little turbulence. All the winds can just keep going and going faster and faster. So it's really an incredibly violent place, not really where you want to spend your summer vacation. The largest hurricanes in our cosmic neighborhood can be found on the solar system's largest planet. The storms on the planet Jupiter just boggle the mind. Like weather here on Earth, weather on Jupiter is caused by temperature differentials. It does get heat from the sun, but in fact, most of the heat from Jupiter is coming from the inside. The center of Jupiter is very hot, and even after all this time, even after four and a half billion years, that heat is radiating away. The temperature differential between Jupiter's hot core and frigid atmospheric temperature averaging 166 below creates epic storms. The storms on Jupiter are just a completely different order than the storms on Earth. First is how long they last. Galileo saw the great red spot on Jupiter 400 years ago, and it's still there today. It's about three times the size of the Earth. Now, amazingly, this storm never stops. A hurricane on Earth eventually moves over some land where it loses energy. On Jupiter, there is no land. There's nothing really to stop the storm. This massive storm, big enough to swallow three Earths, spins in Jupiter's atmosphere. But because the planet is a gas giant, it doesn't have a solid surface. And no one knows quite how deep down it reaches. The maximum speed in these storms on Jupiter is about 500 miles an hour. And the most savage hurricanes we have don't reach 200 miles an hour. Could humans even survive a storm like that? Not if we make the mistake of venturing outside. Jupiter, it's big and boy is it windy. The winds there blow 400 to 500 miles per hour. And that's enough to really blow your hair back. Now what's 500 miles per hour like? Well, here's my friend Dan, and he brought his sandblasting rig, and we're gonna show you. Have at it, buddy. A 500 mile per hour wind is just shredding the wood. I've never seen anything quite like this. Wow! See, it cut right through there, didn't it? Now, can we try something else? Okay. Like uh, a chicken? Can we cut a chicken with that thing? Why not? I'm gonna go get a chicken. Hang on just a second, I'll be right back. I've never done anything like this. A chicken for you, Dan, on Jupiter. Go for it. That's good, that's good. Oh my gosh, Dan, did you see what you did to this thing? Well, that's nasty. But it does go to show that the winds on Jupiter could tear flesh from bones. And we have nothing like this on Earth. Gross. Yeah. 